In today's adventure, Dante and I decided to try Paint, Sip, and Socialize. It is located in Atlanta, in the Decatur area, and we bought our tickets online. All right, so once you come in, you have to go up to the cash register. You show them your online purchase of your tickets. They'll give you your canvases and your paint, and then they'll also tell you which table to sit at. All right, so now that we know which table we're sitting at, we're headed there now to set up. So the color of your smock depends on your reason for being there. We were there for our anniversary, so our smocks were white, and it basically said that we were there to celebrate and it was our anniversary. If it was your birthday, your smock was red. And if you were just there because you were just out having fun and wanted to do something different, your smock was just black. And most importantly, don't forget your snacks and your drinks. We did not bring alcoholic beverages because, you know, I'm not drinking at this moment and Dante was the driver. So, of course, he wasn't drinking either. But if you're, you know, filling up to it, don't forget to bring your drinks. And you can also bring snacks um, because you definitely want to have something because that's the whole name of the place is the paint and sip. Also, each table had a list of the rules and, you know, they even though they were trying to keep the rules kind of funny and light, but they did have a set of rules and what, you know, they kind of expected from everyone. We got Tamika. What's your name? Lydia. We have Lydia. Hold on a second. What's your name? Angel. We have Angel. Okay. What's your name? Okay, Jenny, I want y'all to come up on the stage with me right now. Just get, just get up. We came to have a good day and time this afternoon. I ain't trying to hit on this 4th of July weekend. Y'all ain't got to work on Monday. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, girl, how you doing? I keep I broke my strap and I don't have a bra on, y'all. Oh, my God. I'm over here trying to make sure nothing come out. She said, let it hang. Girl, girl. I said, birthday, folks. So you're turning what today? Make some noise, 21! I told her I turned 21 the other day. Shut up. Basically. What is your age today? 55. 55! That's your sugar boy, right? Okay. What age are you turning? 16. Did she say 16? Yeah. Sixteen. She said, keep your ass on moving. <laughs> Because I'm like 16, you better have no alcohol over there. How old are you today? <clears throat> Girl, what are you whispering? 42 is fabulous. Mally, come here real quick. What's your age? 71. What? <laughs> Alright, so Mr. Mally, move all this stuff out the way, okay? So, I need you two to flip. You two flip. Because I'm doing this by age today. And y'all move around. Move around. Move around, move around. Okay, now you come up here. I right, hit it, girl. Cause you're gonna show me something today. Turn around. <laughs> Cause I know how y'all do up in the club. Come on. What, what, what? Cause I know y'all be shaking that booty up in your ass. Wait a minute, turn your ass this way. Not to the husband. Yeah. Come on, mama. Show us what you got tonight. 
So first they have you to outline the silhouette of your uh, figure with um, black so that way once you start painting you don't lose sight of the actual picture that's on the canvas. They also offer karaoke so they're trying to get people to come up and basically like be interactive with the whole experience. So if you're one of those people that do not mind performing in front of strangers, this is definitely for you. Another thing that they do is they pass out these little black cards and they kind of tell you to just kind of keep them turned over. But remember, this is supposed to be an interactive type of event where you're kind of like getting to know people. So it's like an icebreaker. So they'll come around, they'll ask you to flip your card, and then they'll ask you to answer whatever's on there. And if you don't feel comfortable answering, you can pass it to the person next to you, or you can just decline if you're one of those people that are very shy and don't like to talk in front of people. And this is definitely one of those events that you can do with your spouse or significant other because there were quite a few men in the audience um, or that were there as well. And they were actually getting into it. They were they were putting their alls into these like paintings just like us women and they were enjoying the atmosphere just like us. The entire time they were playing like old school and new school R&B and like some hip hop. And when I tell you the music was like a 10 out of 10, like, I mean, I wanted to get up and dance at some point because <laughs> the music was so freaking good. I mean, every song that they played, I knew and I was definitely like feeling it like the vibes were like all there. And while you're painting, Natalie, who was the instructor, was on the stage as well with the exact same painting. And she was like painting her own and instructing you on how to blend and what was next and what you should do and how to make it your own. And basically she was like coming around and basically just kind of, you know, giving little tips so that your painting will come out looking like the best it could. There was also the cashier person, I cannot think her name, but she would come around and she would basically like uh, refill your water or give you extra paper towels or if you needed an extra plate so that you can blend colors. They both were there to make sure that this was a very good experience for you. Another thing that they offer is for you to be able to buy some of the artwork that was already there. So if you just wanted basically some new artwork for your home, they had it, whatever picture you saw on the wall, it was pretty much for sale. Um, so you could come in and they gave discounts the more pictures or whatever, the more canvases that you bought. So 
Um, if you just don't like your own or you really like one that you saw hanging up or in the, you know, in the studio, you can actually take it home. Everything's for sale. Lastly, they do have blow dryers for you to dry up your canvas so that you don't have to carry it out wet, which was a really nice thing because, of course, you're painting up into the very last minute. And here is our finished results. All right, guys. So, the pros of the paint sip and socialize the pros was the atmosphere the atmosphere was great the artist was very talented she was very personable she was very interactive her energy was great um then also the owner sasha the diva was very very personable as well she came in at the beginning she came over she spoke she introduced herself she was very, very nice. Um, and as you saw from the clip, she was up there on the stage getting people active and um, very, very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Very um, engaged. She was very getting people very engaged, which was also really great for the atmosphere. Um, my cons is very few, which is the brushes. The brushes need to be replaced. It's because, you know, they were a little older and they needed to be replaced. And the second con was starting on time. So they have signs that say, just because you come late doesn't mean we're gonna start late, but they did start late. So you only get a two hour time frame to paint. And because, you know, we're, we're coming in and someone's guiding you, to, to be able to do this because you don't really know, especially if it's your first time, like it was our first time, it started at three. Well, it was supposed to start at three. There were people coming in at 345. Yeah, and then even though they were late, then they have to go up there, they have to get, they have to check in, they have to get their canvases. And then the artist, because she was very, very nice, even though she didn't have to, she still came over and said, okay, this is what we're doing. We're doing this, we're doing that. And instructing them on, what to do like i said it's only two hours so because they started around 3 30 ish because people were late <laughs> um it kind of cut into your time to paint because they gonna wrap it up because they have they have to clean up and then they have another class coming after that so my overall score for paint sip and socialize out of 10 zero to 10 I'm going to give them a nine. I would love to go back and I really, really, really hope to go back soon because it was just that great. I will. Um, so it's definitely on my list of things to do again um, because I really liked it. I'm even thinking about buying because if you go on Amazon, you can actually buy canvases with the pre-outlined silhouette and then you can have painted sips at home. But I love the atmosphere. The music was, <laughs> the music was all that. They was definitely, the music was all that. You cannot go in there and vlog because the music is loud and they play some good music, okay? Made you want to get up and dance music. So that is it for this um, review. Please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.